A school on Hornby Island has been heavily damaged by fire just a week before students are scheduled to head back to school. The Hornby Island Community School was heavily damaged Sunday morning when crews arrived just before 3 a.m. The school was fully engulfed. The entire front has been destroyed, but the fire doors managed to contain the flames and save the rear two-thirds of the building. It's the only public school on Hornby Island. The district there is working on a contingency plan. The timing could not be worse. The school going back in another, in another week or so, and it is the only school on Hornby, and uh, I had parents coming up to me today saying that their kids were just, they were so excited to go to school, and uh, they hadn't had the heart to even break it to the kids that the, the school was caught on fire. The front entryway gym, the offices are all heavily damaged. It's too early to say what caused the fire. Investigators are expected to be at the school today. Hornby Fire. The people now are saying that it's a total write-off, even though you can see that half the school is still standing. Just days before kids head back to class, the island's only school goes up in flames. Here's Stacy Ross. Hello there, thanks very much for joining us. A devastating fire at Hornby Island Community School just a week before classes are set to begin has people doing all they can to help. And the fire broke out early Sunday morning and in spite of a quick response by volunteer firefighters, the building is badly damaged. Our Sky Ryan is on Hornby Island with the very latest on this story. Sky? Hornby Island Community School has been the heart of this Gulf Island since 1984. Sunday's fire has left school children right up to their grandparents, badly shaken. The faces on children lined up outside Hornby Island School tells this community's pain over this fire. Oh, it's very sad. I've gone here for a long time and it's just to burn down now. <laughs> it's sad. It's a very nice school. It's a community school. And, yeah. Just a week before school's return, fire broke out inside the school early Sunday morning. And despite volunteer firefighters' quick response and help from surrounding departments, the damage left behind is massive. Well, it's hard to look at it because it's um, uh, the people now are saying that it's a total write-off, even though you can see that half the school is still standing. There's been, I think, sprinkler damage and smoke damage. Flames gutted classrooms, the gymnasium, and left holes in the school that was the center of Hornby Island life. From education in the day to playgroups and adult sports leagues at night. It's pretty sad. Yeah, things that are hard to take are the memories. And when you walk up the, the hallway of the school, you see all of the different years of kids that have graduated through the school. I see. We're going to do the Hornby school. Brian Smith was BC's education minister in the early 1980s, gave the green light for this school to be built. Now a summer resident, he is vowing to help the community rebuild. Well, if you don't have a school on an island, you have no young people. You don't have any young families. What do you have? You have rich old people with nobody to look after them. It's a bad social mix, so you've got to have schools. In the meantime, the school district is considering short-term measures of using the nearby community hall and common space to house the 45 students who were enrolled in the burned-out school. The community hall is just half a block away. So, you know, there's a big space there. I, I think that people will make do and that, that that will all evolve. School District 71 says it has every intention of keeping these students on Hornby Island and through this tragedy. The cause of the fire remains under investigation and the school district is still finalizing what it will do about next week. All right, Sky, thanks very much for that Sky Ryan reporting from Hornby Island.